u slash fruity and beast asked reddit what do you consider to be a cultural food of the united states welcome to autogen labs daily reddit content by robots for the internet i was grocery shopping recently when a very nice german guy approached me for advice he had friends coming to visit from his home country and he wanted to introduce them to peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and could i advise him on the best ingredients he already had some kind of bee pots and bread from the bakery department in his cart. I told him to put that back, go to the bread aisle and get the crappy white wonder bread. Then there was discussion about the merits of Welch's grape jelly vs strawberry jam and how most big brand peanut butter is optimal as opposed to the oily natural kind. Lastly, he learned to use the term PB and J. He went away delighted and it felt great to be a cultural ambassador. Cheeseburgers. PB and J I'd give it was originated in the US but it's not that popular in other countries although it's shown a lot in American cartoons I literally tried PB and J last year for the first time and it's freaking delicious 10 slash 10 edit thanks for your suggestions on different forms on how to eat PB and J so I'm gonna make a list of some PB and honey with sliced banana with chocolate chips with free strawberries canted pecan slough and utter I like this word PB and pickles work with mayo beef I'm gonna try this tomorrow mixing the peanut butter and the jelly in one with lemon zest with popcorn buffalo wings perhaps BBQ Chocolate chip cookies. Cajun. S'mores. I've travelled the world and no one knows what s'mores are besides Americans. Whereas even if burgers or whatever are American, everyone everywhere knows what they are Sioux. Biscuits and gravy. The Cuban sandwich originated in Tampa Bay. Philly cheesesteak. Cornbread. Soul food. Ranch. Macaroni and cheese. New England clan chowder. Fried chicken. It's a combination of a Scottish cooking style worthy fried and seasoned food and Lord and West African seasonings. Meatloaf. General Tzu's chicken. Hot dogs. Fried chicken, smoked meat barbecue, soul food, Cajun and Creole food. Funeral potatoes, a kick. Just this week I heard about the blooming onion. Blueberry pie. Or anything with blueberries since they originated in North America. Breakfast cereal, especially the sugary kind, seems very American to me. Deleted. Soul food. Southern cooking. Originated from beet cooks who they must have stole the recipes or published out of kindness because they knew no one would accept a recipe from a beep true fact. Soul food and soul music are as American as you can get. Chicken and waffles. Tato tarts. Buffalo wings. S'mores. Biscuits and gravy. Grits. Jambalaya. BBQ. Apple pie. Chocolate chip cookies. Jerky. Meatloaf. Cornbread. Lobster rolls, Boston clam, cheddar, BBQ, the take forever slow and low kind, not the grilling kind, NYC pizza, Chicago deep dish pizza combo and Cajun food in general, grits, American style bacon, which leads to the good old BLT. Oh my beep, so many things. Popcorn, peanut butter and jelly, turkey, Caesar salad, brownies, chocolate chip cookies, pumpkin pie, soda, breakfast cereal, sure. But also pizza, lasagna. French fries, hamburgers, tacos, nachos, jambalaya, fried chicken, barbecue, apple pie, egg foo yang, sweet and sour chicken, pancakes, omelets, hot dogs, donuts, bourbon whiskey, bagels, grits, clam bakes and fish poke. It hold up, you say. Most of that second list is bastardized versions of other countries' cultural foods, and I'm not really sure about all the stuff in the first list either. Exactly. Beat the hallmark of American cuisine is boring adapting and combining stuff from cultures around the world to make our own unique food landscape. Beep you claim chicken adobo as your unique national dish? That's great, Americans are gonna put it on a pizza. And let's be clear, every country does this. Italy didn't invent noodles or tomato sauce. Vindaloo is borrowed from Portugal, Massam and curry isn't originally Thai. Every old world dish that contains tomatoes, potatoes, corn, or peanuts was invented after these ingredients arrived from the Americas. But American cuisine is defined by its variety and its willingness to be inspired by and combine foods from the whole world. You want to know what makes America great? We're the land of the Kalbai Toko, Spamusubai, the Kimchai Quesadilla and the Tandoori Pierogi. Okay, I just invented Tandoori Pierogi for this post, but now I want one. And that's the point. Carolina sauce replaced the actual blood in my body years ago, and I'm still kicking. I think, as a non-American, Italian, American, and Tex-Mex are two that are found all over the US and now the world. Spaghetti meat sauce, non bechamel lasagna, deli-style pizza, chili con carne, loaded nachos, etc. 
Other dishes that may be more regional just aren't found everywhere even in the US. It's hilarious what people in other countries asterisk think asterisk is American food. Fox American Link. Chicken nuggets. Louisiana boiled crawfish and crabs. Twinkies. Midwest casseroles. Burritos. I'm only pretty sure they're an American bastardization. Barbecue. Actual cooked flour and slow over wood barbecue. I've lived abroad and my wife and her family are non-American so I can confidently say that people see cheeseburgers, milkshakes and pizza as American food. Apple pie. I'm willing to bet a lot of southern foods could be considered American culture. Shrimp and grits Nashville style fried chicken Texas BBQ Carolina BBQ NY style pizza po boys jambalaya slash gumbo hot ambrose salad clan chowder bow any and Manhattan conch fritters and hash x200 B edits for gop buffalo wings and coleslaw. Without leaving pizza, we have St. Louis pizza, Detroit pizza, New York pizza, Chicago pizza, California pizza. That's just the way is it here. You are spoiled for options no matter what your preference is. One of the many beauties of a large migrant society. Navajo tacos. Betty Crocker recipes. She defined a middle American dinner for decades. Let me try this one on you and see if anyone recognizes a chicken beep topped with provolone slices covered in cream of chicken soup. Cover that with stuff and mix in butter, bake at 350 for 40 men. Tex-Mex is not Mexican food, but rather a Texas creation that extends even to fajitas and margaritas. Hot wings. Nobody can do BBQ like the US. Popcorn. Who can see a movie without it? It was first made by Native Americans. A deep fried gun. High fructose corn syrup. Soul food. Barbecue. Pizza and burgers may be more common eaten here, but they're really adaptations of food from Europe. Brisket, ribs or pulled pork, slow cooked in a pit smoker and smothered in barbecue sauce, are more American in origin and extraordinarily delicious. There are lots of regional variations too. Mostly a result of what resources were available, i.e. It's smoked with whatever wood is readily available in that region, but now they are a strong point of regional pride, and the topic of endless which region has the best BBQ debates. I am a fan of Memphis style myself, but it's all good. Louisiana Cajun and Creole cooks combined French, Spanish, African, and Native American cooking and created a cuisine indigenous to this day. Gumbo is very much an American dish. Chicken fried steak. Yes, I know some of you are going to say, what about German schnitzel? I he is not the same, and you know IT. The size of a dinner plate and serve with white gravy. Ribs. Hi, Miss Famous Daves. Currants. Stove top stuffing. Maple syrup, gumbo, BBQ, scrapple, New England clam chowder, fajitas, red beans and rice, spam misubai. Fruit pies. Edit, also barbecue. French fries and BBQ with tons of cheese. McDonald's Big Mac. Pork tenderloins. It's a Midwestern thing, but I've only seen it here and nowhere else. It's basically a slab of pork breaded and fried and made into a sandwich it's good ass. Definitely worth trying if you've never had it. BBQ smoked anything in it and bourbon. Most Ashkenazi Jewish food like chicken schnitzel, soup, niches, etc. The original population is, shall we say, not there, so most of its sale and cuisine evolution is in the US. The speedy sandwich from Beyond in New York is a tasty treat of marinated meat char broiled and fed on Italian bread. This sandwich has its own festival and much. Cheese sticks, obviously, I'm from Philly. Southern BBQ, soul food. This is like asking what is Europe's cultural food. There's too many good options, but seeing as I didn't see it said I'll add southern food, grits in its many variations, collard greens, turnip greens, BBQ, fried okra, etc. I also think adopting other countries' foods is part of our culture. Over history, we've had so many nationalities move here. Cajun and Creole cooking. It's a derivation of French cooking, but probably so far removed now that it's a unique thing. You're not getting boiled crawfish made properly anywhere outside of South Louisiana. Maybe classic Southern comfort food or Cajun food. Cajun especially. It is so deep, good, and I don't think you can really find legit Cajun food like you can in Louisiana anywhere else in the world. Boudin in Louisiana, definitely. Indian fry bread akut, Indian bread or Indian tacos, they are delicious, but the history is a bit dark. Essentially, when natives were removed from the lands and put on reservations, they were given operations or basic rations. These included flour or sugar and coffee. Grilled cheese that beep beep slaps. I think the dinner of Thanksgiving would be one. The turkey with the other's plates that come around the table. 
The US is so big that I think regional foods are more culturally identifiable. I've had lobster rolls in Maine, Maryland crab cakes, garbage plates in upstate NY, clam chowder, the Carolina BBQ in slaw, I'm a Texan so brisket, Kislik in the Dakotas, Rocky Mountain oysters in the Rockies. My beach Chicago food is a blue collar worker's dream food. Wisconsin sausage and cheese is one of a kind. Louisiana, Nuff said. Nebec steaks. It all depends where you are. I kind of think maybe burgers, chicken fried steak, things like that are actually nationwide. New Mexico please put green chilies on everything. Savory, macaroni and cheese, grilled cheese and tomato soup sweet, blueberry pie. A beep. From beeps country the upper peninsula of Michigan. Hot dog water. Burritos. Macaroni and cheese. Grilled cheese, especially with Kraft American singles. Taco Bell. There are many. Srapple. Chocolate chip cookies. Derby pie. Biscuits. Brooklyn blackout cake. Shoe fleet pie. Popcorn. Maple syrup, though we share that with Canada. Brits. Mac and cheese. Biscuits. Barbecue. Cinnabon or anything offerings found at a 90s Midwestern Mall food court. They seem to like eating beep. BBQ ribs. Burger, fries and a coke. Garbage plate. TV dinner. Top four BBQ capitals, Chicago hot dog slash polishes, avocado toast burritos, apple pie. Krell. Barbecue of various regions, Wisconsin cheese, un pie, crispy, cream cheeseburger and all variations, hot dogs, Chicago style and others bourbon. Chicken fried steak and BBQ are big in Texas. BBQ added slow and smoked. Soul food. Cornbread. BBQ. BBQ. Heat. Jelly. Best part of Texan culture. Ranch dressing. The corn pie biscuits and gravy submarine sandwiches, corn pie scrapple deep dish beets. X-Mex. Just a few off the top of my head to jambalaya, gumbo, crawfish boil, church style fish fry, southern style BBQ. Midwest style BBQ, Chicago style pizza, Detroit style pizza, Chicago dogs, just about any casserole dish, Spamatsubai, Mission style burritos, grilled cheese sandwiches with American cheese, brine fried chicken, whole roast turkey, and buffalo burgers. Thanks for watching. This has been an Autogen Labs production. That means that this video was created by a robot out of content on Reddit. We show all account names and list them in the description to credit the Redditor community that makes our work possible. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. We post new videos every day. If you have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. Our human department for public relations reads all of them, or won't be let out of their cages again. Goodbye.